Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a broken throttle on a two-cycle Lawn Boy lawnmower. And here's the lawnmower. It's a two-cycle 4.75 horsepower commercial grade engine, silver series. And this lawnmower here does have the safety cable on the handlebars and it does have a throttle lever here. So what's going on is when you throttle up and down, there's no difference in the speed of the engine. So what I've done is check the cable, followed it all the way down to the carburetor. The cable is in good condition, however there's a small broken part on the carburetor and that's what I'm going to show you how to repair today. To start with you need to remove the three Torx screws on top of the cover over here and they are number T25. Now that both screws are off at the back I just have one left in the front and then the cover should come off. Now the top shroud cover will come off you just have to pry it up a bit be careful because the fuel line and the primer lines are still hooked up to the carburetor so at this point I'm going to disconnect the primer line which is the smaller line out of the two and it's just hooked in at the carburetor and usually you can just pull by hand and it will come off like this now if I lift the cover you're going to see the fuel line on the other side and you can see the fuel line over here I'm going to loosen the fuel clamp and remove the fuel line from the gas tank you can also empty out your fuel tank before you do this job. And I'm also going to keep the fuel tank tilted like this so the fuel doesn't leak out of the connector. So now I'm just going to pull off the fuel line. And that's it. Now I'm just going to leave the cowl hang on the side like that, tilt it up so that the fuel doesn't come out of the connector over here. Now you will see a bit of fuel leak out of the fuel line, that's normal. There will be a little bit of fuel left in the carburetor. You may want to get a rag to soak that up. In this case, I'm just going to leave one underneath here. At this point, I'm going to remove the air filter cover by taking off the clip over here. Just grab a flat screwdriver and tilt it up. And now you can pull it open. It's going to swivel out and then you can take it off completely. Now I'm going to remove the air filter. And this plastic tab here needs to be pulled out. Just simply pull it like this. Now grab a larger Phillips screwdriver. It's a number three and you'll need to reach down inside here to remove the two Phillips screws that hold the carburetor. And you can see the screw right there and there's one on the other side. So just simply undo it. And now remove the one on the other side and the carburetor will come off. Now once you've removed the carburetor, you're going to see a metal plate over here and a gasket. This is the configuration that they were in. Now here's the throttle cable end over here and there's a broken plastic part over here. So when I use the throttle cable, it's grabbing on nothing. So it cannot adjust the speed of the engine. So that's the problem. And here's the small plastic part that's missing. So I used to go over here and the throttle cable was hooked in as you can see. So with a small plastic part like that, you can see why it will easily break. So that little plastic part I showed you is part of this larger plastic part over here that slides back and forth. I'm going to have to take this off and I'll show you how to do that. So to remove this part you need to pop out the metal rod here and to do this all you need is a good flat screwdriver. Simply go under here, pry up and then do the same on the other side over here. You can either take the rod all out or just take one side out and swing it like this. And before you remove the plastic part completely, take note of a small spring that is hooked in on the back of it over here. Just so that when you put the new part in, you put the spring exactly in this position. So now I'm going to pull up. I'm going to swing it around and get the plastic part out of the spring. But before I continue the operation, I'm going to remove the throttle cable just by squeezing the tabs and pulling out. There's a bit of fuel leaking out of the carburetor here. The reason why I'm taking it off is to just give it a good clean. And here's my new part here. I actually bought two because they were so inexpensive I figured it's good to have a spare one. They were only a buck fifty each. And they're part number 93-1225 from Lawn Boy. Now for the reinstallation, hold the plastic part in this position here, this facing toward you. Now grab the carburetor, you want to insert the spring in like this, then go around right to the front of the carb like this. So you can see that the spring is in the same position as when I took it off. And you want this to be over the little stud here. 
Now you can grab the metal rod, bring it back over the plastic part into the hole here and you can see that the rod will clip into the grooves here on the plastic part. So just push down on the rod, it's going to go right in and now you can slide your part back and forth. So it's that easy. Here's the front of the carb so you have a good look. And here's where the throttle cable will hook up. And if you look down here, you can see a hole as if a cable goes in there, but actually nothing connects in there, so don't worry about it. Now to hook up the throttle cable, make sure that the lever is all the way down like this. Now grab your cable, stick it in the little hole, just like this, and then bring it back. And now push in the cable until these tabs click into the metal part here, just like this. The next step will be to grab the carburetor screws, put them in over here on the flange. Now grab the metal plate and the gasket. I have cleaned the metal plate by the way. You don't necessarily have to use gasket maker when you reuse these gaskets because usually they do a good seal. Unless it's totally broken around here, then you should replace it or use gasket maker. Now I'm going to hold this like this and I'm going to put it into the screws of the carburetor. I'm going to hold the screws at the rear with my fingers and then push them into the plate and the gasket. This way here it's easier to mount the whole thing on the engine and you're sure you've got them in the gasket and the metal plate. And now the carburetor and the metal plate have to be lined up to these holes over here and screwed in. Now you want to hold the screws and the metal plate on the carburetor really good with both hands. And now you want to insert this plastic flap underneath the cowl. So just tilt the carburetor. You're going to see a hole under there. Bring it up like this. And now what you need to do is line up this screw here to the hole over there. And the same thing on the other side. So bring it up a bit. Have your screwdriver ready. Reach down inside over here. Don't tighten it up yet. I'm just going to leave it snug because I need to put in the other screw so the carb goes on evenly. And I've got this one in. I'm going to tighten it up and then go back and tighten this one up. Now before going any further in this operation, I'm going to check that the throttle cable and the new plastic part I put in work as they should. So what you want to do is move the throttle lever back and forth like this and then look down over here to make sure that it's moving like this. So that's perfect. And before I add all the rest of the parts, I'm going to spray some liquid wrench on the plastic part just to lubricate it. Now I'm going to reinsert the plastic tab that goes over here. Just push on it like that. And I just washed the air filter in hot water and dish soap as you saw in the video previously. It was really dirty. So if yours is dirty, just wash it. Let it dry in the sun before you reinstall it on your machine. Once it's dry, just reinsert it into the air filter box. And now you can put the air filter cover back on. I did wash this as well. Now you want to make sure when you install the air filter cover that this tab here goes in the groove here on the air filter bracket. So you want to have the air filter cover slightly out like this, put it in the groove, and then you can swing it shut. And you want to push it just so you hear it click in. And now you want to push in the metal clip here, just like that. And now you can bring the cowl back down, rehook the fuel line first. I'm just going to grab it, push it in, and make sure you put the hose clamp back on. And now I'm going to rehook the primer line. And it goes on the connector over here. You can just reach in with your fingers and put it in and push it down all the way. Now it's time to put this whole plastic part back on. And before you do this, you have to take note of the grooves down here. These ones specifically, there's two, one on each side. And they have to go inside the grooves over here. So make sure you take note of that when you put the plastic cover back on or else you're going to find that the screw holes don't line up properly. And when you put the plastic cover back on, always keep an eye on the primer line so that it doesn't get disconnected from yanking back and forth. So I'm just going to go up like this. And I'm just slightly lifting the back of the cover to get the grooves together. You can look underneath to make sure. And I'm going to push down. And I know they're in. 
And all that's left to do now is line up the holes, put in the torque screws and their T25. And the last one goes at the front. Now the job is complete, but before you proceed to start your lawnmower, check underneath for any fuel leaks. You want to check especially around the primer line and the fuel line, and I don't see any leaks here. And here's the fuel line here, it's nice and dry, and you want to check especially where it connects on the fuel tank to make sure there's no leaks. So all that's left to do now is to start it up and double check that everything's working the way it should. Well, thanks for watching guys. As you can see, it's an easy repair to do. Save yourself the money and do it yourself.